Baroness Glenis Kinnick, the former minister, MEP and wife of former Labour leader Neil Kinnick, has died. In a statement, her family said she died peacefully in her sleep this morning. They described her as a proud democratic socialist who campaigned for justice and against poverty all her life. Well, our political correspondent, Amanda Akas, joins me now. Um, Amanda, tributes have been uh, pouring in. How is she being remembered? Yes, indeed. Well, she's been remembered with great fondness and affection across the Labour Party in particular. Um, she served as an MEP, a Labour MEP, um, in the European Parliament for some 15 years before being appointed Minister for Europe by Gordon Brown in 2009. And she was elevated to the House of Lords in order to take up that ministerial role, later also serving as Minister for Africa, the Caribbean and the UN. Now, of course, of course, she was also married to Neil Kinnock, the leader of Labour in opposition for many years in the 80s and early 90s, making them one of the very few couples who both been appointed life peerages and sitting in the Lords in their own right. Um, she's also was the mother of Stephen Kinnock, who is currently the shadow immigration minister, and he's married to the former Danish PM, Hella Thorning Schmidt, as well. Now, he's issued a very heartfelt tribute this afternoon, saying, heartbreak broken that my mum passed away peacefully in her sleep last night after many years of Alzheimer's. She was a beloved mum and nan who was adored by her family and friends, a truly formidable person in every single way and with such a cheeky sense of humour, rest in peace. Now, we've also had tributes from Sir Tony Blair, of course, um, who said she would be mourned in many countries and corners of the earth, saying he and his wife are both very sad to hear the news. She was a huge figure in progressive policies for decades, incredibly smart, brave, determined and resolute in standing up for what she believed was right. Gordon Brown also paid tribute for her, saying she was highly effective and popular minister for Europe in the last Labour government. Um, he, of course, was the one who appointed her um, to that position. Um, and a very personal tribute from Alistair Campbell as well, um, who says his whole family are devastated by the news that she died, um, that she there, there could be no more loving friend and counsel um, than Glenys Kinnock, that he's devastated today, above all for her husband, Neil. It was impossible, he said, to think of one without the other. Their love was deep and unshakable and never, never more on display than during those recent years when her horrible illness increasingly took hold. Um, he, he goes on to say that Neil vowed to look after her till the end, and that's exactly what he did. Um, and then, of course, he makes the point that uh, many will remember her as part of that couple, but that she was a formidable political force in her own right, saying that Mandela, no less, adored her as well. Um, also, tributes from Sir Keir Starmer, who says uh, she was a true fighter for the Labour Party and the values of the Labour movement, a pioneering woman to whom we owe an, or, an enormous debt. Many other tributes coming in from other MPs as well as, of course, her family um, mourn her loss at the age of 79. Amanda Akas uh, with the tributes there being paid to Baroness Glenis Kinnick, who has died this morning at the age of 79. Amanda, thank you.